The idea that an 18-year-old kid can walk into a gun store and buy two assault weapons is just wrong. 19 children and two teachers in Uvalde were killed by weapons their killer bought for his 18th birthday. According to the Giffords Law Center, only six states, Florida, Washington, Vermont, California, Illinois and Hawaii, have increased the minimum age to purchase assault rifles from 18 to 21 years old. In a new Reuters Ipsos poll, 72 percent said they would support raising the age to buy a gun from 18 to 21. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Anthony Brown of Maryland. He's a 30-year Army veteran and the vice chair of the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman, great to see you. Let's listen to what Governor Greg Abbott had to say when asked today if he would consider imposing a ban on 18-year-olds buying assault rifles. For a century and a half, 18-year-olds could buy rifles. And we didn't have school shootings, but we do now. Maybe we're focusing our attention on the wrong thing. Congressman, your reaction to the governor? He couldn't be more wrong. I mean, as you mentioned, you know, 72 plus percent of Americans support raising the age uh, to buy a semi-automatic rifle. This is an assault weapon to 21. Already, federal law requires you to be 21 to buy a handgun. Look. I was a soldier for 30 years. I went to Iraq. I know the damage, the destruction of these semi-automatic rifles. We don't need them in our neighbors and our communities, period. That's why states like Maryland have banned them altogether. But if we can't ban assault weapons, it's certainly reasonable to raise the age to 21, the same age that we have for a handgun. We know that one in every eight mass shootings includes an 18 to 20 year old. We also know that more than 60 percent of mass shootings include assault rifles. So it only makes sense. It doesn't solve everything, but it's an important piece of the puzzle that we are going to solve this mass shooting, taking of lives, 31 in the last 10 days in Buffalo and Uvalde, both by shooters under 21, 18 years old, with semi-automatic rifles. We need to be urgent, and Congress has to act with a sense of urgency. But, Congressman, according to the new Reuters Ipsos poll, 49 percent said they were not confident that lawmakers would strengthen gun laws this year. Only 35 percent said they were confident. After two mass shootings in 10 days, do you think anything will be different this time? Look. What I, what I think is that Congress has to come back to Washington, and we need to put, do our level best to raise the age of 21 for semi-automatic rifles, assault weapons. We have to pass a red flag law, a national standard, and we have to pass universal background checks. Now, we've done the, fir the background checks and the red flag law. We've already gotten those out of the House in the past. We've got to come back. We've got to work with the Senate to make sure that they get it done. Look, am I confident? Look, if history uh, is any indication uh, of what to expect in the next few months, I'm not optimistic. But I'll tell you right now, as a public official who is elected to fight for people, to fight for safe neighborhoods, I'm going back to Washington intent, hell bent. I'm making sure I do everything I can with my colleagues to pass meaningful gun safety regulation.